Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. Today let's talk about how to upgrade our .NET Core application. So first let me tell you why we are upgrading. So there are two reasons. The first one is if you are upgrading, obviously you can use the latest feature of .NET Core. And the second thing is the lower version 3.1 and 5 both are going to be deprecated. Okay, so that's why we are upgrading. And currently I am having one .NET Core API application. So that version is 3.1. I am going to upgrade this application into 6.0 as well as the 7.0. The 7.0 is the latest one. At the same time 6.0 is one of the stable version. Okay. For this upgrade process I am going to split into two areas. The first one is all about the system requirement. And second thing is we have to work with our existing application. Okay, so first we can go with an our system requirement. So part of the system requirement first we have to install this .NET SDK. So this is the link. I will share this link in the description. You have to use it. Okay, and if you are installing this SDK version 7.0, it will be supported for uh, .NET 6 also. So here based on your OS download the package and install it. And the second thing is uh, we have to install this .NET Core runtime. So basically Microsoft recommending to install the package of hosting bundle because it is includes this .NET runtime and also the IA support. Okay, these are the two installation steps and the final one is development tool. So we should have this Visual Studio 2022. I am already completed all the system requirement and also opened my lower version of .NET Core API into our Visual Studio 2022. So let me click this solution file. So if you noted in this target framework, we can see the version of 3.1. So just to change this into 6.0, okay? Net 6.0. And the supporting packages. So if you know the supporting highest version, you have to include it. So in our case, I know some of the packages. So So if you don't know the version also, we can check from the NuGet package manager and you have to include it, okay? So that is fine. The next step is we have to rebuild our application. So it will clear the existing libraries and restore the exactly supporting libraries here. Okay, rebuild all succeeded. So let me run the application. So if it is working, then upgrade process is fine. So if there is any supporting packages are not working, obviously it will throw the error. So we can upgrade the particular libraries. Okay, that's all about the process here. Okay, application is running now. See, it is returning the data. Okay, so that means our application is working fine. So now let me change the target framework 6.0 into 7.0. So now in this case, I don't know exactly the latest version of this entity framework core and other items. So let me check from this NuGet package manager. See the latest version is 7.0.2. Okay. So let me change this one. So let me rebuild the application once again. Okay, uh, now we can see one of the error detect package downgrade. Okay, we supposed to use this 6.21 instead of 6.15. Okay, this is the package. Let me change this one. I'm going to rebuild the application once again. Okay, rebuild all succeeded. 
and one more thing I want to convey so this darknet 6 and 7 both are having this program.cs file only so this startup file is removed okay so in our case we can have uh, if you are creating a new application so this startup file not going to create the same time whatever codes we are using this startup file so these items are moved into our program.cs file so this is one of the information I want to convey and in our app settings.json file so in the log level we have some changes so the default is information that is fine and the next one is microsoft asp.net core warning and the final one is removed okay so let me save this one so we can run the application once again okay we are getting on error a connection was successfully established with our server but then error occurred during login process so SSL provider error okay that's kind of a not trusted certificate so in this case in our connection string you have to include one more item trusted server certificate true okay so let me rerun the application once again okay it is returning the data so I believe it is working okay now see it is returning the data so our application is working fine after upgrading to 7.0 okay so now we are almost in the end of the video so I have to convey some informations so in this solution I am having only one application so the real-time application mostly entire architecture so we may have some supporting files uh, for all the layers like a business layer and a data access layer we have the separate project so make sure you have to change the version for all the projects otherwise definitely you will get an in error and we have to check the breaking changes okay so if you are upgrading to 6.0 if there is no error it is fine otherwise you have to check the breaking changes dotnet 6 breaking changes so they have provided one checklist okay so in this checklist please review all the points based on your application for the testing purpose i have used the web apa but the dotnet core uh, you people already know it is supporting for the different application based on your application uh, you have to check all the checklist okay and the similar way for the seven also For the seven also they have provided the kind of checklist and please review all the things and if you are facing any issue or any doubts or clarification please put in the comment box also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching